Hey everyone, welcome to this lunar eclipse sidereal astrology forecast. This is for the eclipse on Sunday, Monday, January 20th and 21st of 2019. All right, so uh, lunar eclipse in Cancer with the North Node. If you're expecting me to say Leo just then, be sure to check out the link down below. We are using the actual size of the constellations, which does change the signs from mainstream astrology. All right, so lunar eclipse time, much like a full moon energy, which is about uh, doing a status check, maybe some awareness coming in at this time, and really good to do a bit of a shift and pivot along that life path, especially with the North Node. So with Cancer, this can be a status check with our roots. How have we been developing the past roughly year regarding our connection to our soul, to our feelings, to our bodies, to maybe the past, matters pertaining to home, family, these types of more intrinsic aspects of life now coming in for integration and doing a status check with. So with this awareness, great time to maybe do some shifting and pivoting for the next six months uh, regarding our life journey of incorporating these protective and root-based uh, connections to life. So with this, uh, we do have the uh, lunar eclipse opposite up to Mercury. So with Mercury still in Sagittarius, great time to still be expanding our worldview with matters. And there's also going to be a T-square with Uranus. So maybe some uneasiness or restlessness that we can incorporate in conscious and healthy ways to listen to. All right, so this, along with the sun shifting into Capricorn, we also have four major aspects here over this uh, time period. So let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here is the chart for the lunar eclipse. We're going to look at the eclipse first, and then we'll take a look at some of these aspects um, and sign changes that we have this part of the week here. So again, the lunar eclipse will be right on the cusp between Sunday and Monday, uh, depending on where you are in the world. Um, the exact time will be 0112 Eastern Time of the Americas, if you want to make that calculation for where you're at. Now, the uh, lunar eclipse is going to be right here in Cancer, which forms the foundation of the chart the bottom of the chart. And Cancer has been sort of always seen as the sort of gateway of what you might call the soul or our roots or the past. And so with this energy now, this illumination, this full moon type of energy with the North Node, the eclipse, showing, bringing up to the surface how things have been going the past six months to a year regarding this type of energy. Have we been you know, how has it been connecting to our soul, our past, our roots? And so great for this further development because with the lunar eclipse, it's a great time to do a status check and see what's been developed, what hasn't, and now how we can continue to develop these energies in a new way or in a way that now with this awareness, we gain some more insight about these things that we may want to incorporate. So great time with this to be cultivating the past, connect, uh, connecting to our feelings, incorporating those into our awareness, um, connecting to our soul, maybe even things like home, family, right? Connecting to our bodies. And this is all to be integrating these caring and protective aspects of ourself. That's essentially the qualities of cancer, which is saying what needs to be protected in order to get in touch with these softer elements of life. And so this can be protecting for ourself, such as our private life, protective life, again, to connect in this way, or for others, protecting, caring for, nurturing others for the same purpose there. So really good time to, yeah, see how this energy has been developed and further develop it along the life journey. Now, just generally, this is all gonna be in different areas for everyone, so uh, down below, I am going to put a link to the yearly forecast, which goes into this in detail. And so do check that out for your particular sign. I'll also have a end notes on the screen at the end of the video for the yearly forecast, because it's going to be a different area for everyone. For some of you, it might be relationships, others career. So it changes a little bit, but collectively it is about this cancer energy. So really good to be incorporating this and just seeing how there might be a shift to our life path direction just in general 
and where we may want to put some more energy into the next six months involving whatever comes to the surface. And again, it's also a harvest time. Anything you've been cultivating in this kind of realm for the past six months to a year, this is also a high point in a cultivation of those energies as well. All right, so that's the um, lunar eclipse, like the moon side of it. Now, in terms of the opposition, because we're always dealing with oppositions with full moons and lunar eclipses, we do have the sun shifting into Capricorn, which is the counterbalance to Cancer. So while it is a great time for connecting to these intrinsic aspects of life, the sun shifting into Capricorn is a reminder that what helps balance all of this softer and protective and roots energy in life is about focusing on what requires responsibility. And so for about the next month with the sun shifting into Capricorn, great time for developing our responsibilities, cultivating our responsible side, things that require persistence, our patient side, things that require perseverance, and also the long-term perspective, right? How things can be slowly and steadily built. So um, shift of focus here, we'll start to notice as we come into the new week and for the next month, really good to, uh, to cultivate that energy. And again, it's more of that cold, detached, productive, disciplined, patient energy of Capricorn that helps balance out a lot more of the intrinsic, softer, emotional, feeling-based energies of Cancer. So really good to be incorporating both of these aspects of the self. Now, speaking of oppositions, we do also have Mercury opposite um, in this lunar eclipse going over the south node. It's one of the aspects we have going into Tuesday. And so while this is taking place, I think it's still a really good time to be focused on the larger perspective of things. What, what inspires us? In fact, this is where this whole lunar cycle started two weeks ago was sort of these new shifts to our perspective and maybe even new found senses of inspiration or of possibilities and potentials. So still really good to maintain those larger perspectives on the bigger picture in terms of what are our ideals, what inspires us, what gives us that spirit for life and furthering developing those things. Now, with that being said, with Mercury over the South Node, there's still likely some releasing taking place in the sense that there might be some belief systems we're still letting go of. And that's fine. It's part of this sort of eclipse cycle. So with Mercury, though, it can be particularly our thought patterns. So a really good time, Monday, Tuesday in particular, being aware of if there are any thought patterns, ideas, perspectives that are just no longer serving or no longer useful. And just that awareness of them will just naturally want to release them or they'll just naturally be released. There's really nothing to do with the South Node as much as it just kind of happens automatically or unconsciously, but we do want to be aware of it so that that helps facilitate the process there. All right, so that's the opposition up to Mercury. Now there is a T-square with this lunar eclipse and it's involving Uranus. And so this has been an energy we were already feeling a bit um, over the weekend. And uh, this could be maybe a bit of uneasiness, restlessness, wanting some change, could be a little bit impulsive and kind of wanting these things immediately, usually collectively, wanting change immediately, maybe some freedom, or to cultivate our future ideals, like now, you know, kind of a thing. Or maybe it's just a bit of nervous energy. So however you're feeling this, it's really good to be aware of this side of yourself that does want freedom and change. Because that's likely a connection to your true self there, in terms of you do want to be listening to your excitement and these future ideals and following them but with that extra tension because with the square it's just requiring some integration with that higher aspect of the self and the ego that the ego may be wanting these things now or just not able to work with such a high frequency energy and so we do want to take it nice and slow incorporate it steadily with conscious awareness yes how can we create freedom change and cultivation of these ideals with awareness with steadiness with a constructive approach especially with the sun shifting into Capricorn. Again, the balancing component to all this is patience, discipline, moving forward now. All right, everyone, so that is the uh, lunar eclipse in a nutshell. Now, in terms of the aspects, there's been a lot going on astrologically since last weekend and coming into this new week. Now, the two aspects we have here, Sunday and Monday, are going to be Mars squaring up to Saturn 
and Venus squaring up to Neptune. Now I did talk on this in the week in, on the weekend video, so if you haven't yet seen that, do check that out. But uh, just very briefly here, these two days, I think it's really good to be aware of if there are any limitations that we that may come to the surface here. They might be self limitations we might become aware of, or maybe outer limitations. And so we do want to be patient with them. Work within those limitations, see the long road, the patient road, one step at a time, then it becomes a very constructive way of working with this Mars square Saturn. In terms of Venus, again, along with this eclipse, with this one, involving maybe our relationships, there might be some idealization taking place, or maybe a bit of uncertainty. And if it's not relationships, it could be about your values and even material aspects of things like finance and stuff like this. So really good to live as presently as we can in our relationships and with our values. Surrender what's outside of our control. Have faith and trust as best as we can. And noticing in that way that there's actually a lot to be grateful for, a lot to connect to. And there's this also very good way of connecting in our relationships in the present moment that can be very spiritual, very enjoyable if you want to call it that just able to connect on a essential level with others presently with that awareness so venus square up to neptune as well so lots of this kind of challenging kind of energy collectively i'd say with the lunar eclipse um, so just a good time generally to again do this status check see what comes up and through awareness incorporating some of these things in conscious and healthy ways that's really the way of incorporating uh, squares and any type of like Again, natural impulses towards imbalance, which can sometimes be the case with these types of aspects. All right, and then two aspects that we do have going into tomorrow. Speaking on those relationships, that actually gets quite a bit of a boost as we go into Monday and especially towards Tuesday because Venus is going over Jupiter and Jupiter does involve that sort of inspiration and maybe possibilities and potentials. Now, this conjunction is in a fucus, so it still might be about healing I think we're going to be valuing deeper connections as we've likely have been, but maybe valuing healing, uh, a deeper connection to life. And so with this uh, conjunction, there might just be a bit of awareness about this stuff and just a bit of an easier energy to work with in terms of connecting to others in life in a deeper way. And maybe even some opportunities to do that. Again, maybe discussing philosophies, higher perspectives maybe adventurousness, all of this very supportive in the relationship and also in the value sector with this conjunction. All right, and then we talked about that Mercury over the south node. So that is the uh, two days in a nutshell. Of course, the most important thing is this lunar eclipse in Cancer. Great time to do a status check to see what comes up and then shifting and pivoting along the life journey based on what insights do come up during this. And there likely will be. So great time to be listening while incorporating, while moving things forward. You know, this is the heightened part of the cycle. So energies are high and it is about implementation. So with this, it is about the awareness of what you might call the gateway to our soul. So connecting to our soul, our body, our roots, the past, reflective nature. How have these things been going the past six months to a year? How can we further develop them? How has our caring and protective side for ourselves and others been going and how we, we can continue to you know create that security for ourselves and others all right all while being aware of that side of ourselves that wants to break free maybe make some changes wants freedom incorporating that in healthy conscious ways as well as maintaining that higher perspective of what inspires us and then shifting into the next month how we can maintain and further develop our discipline and responsible side all right, so everyone have an awesome lunar eclipse. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time for the daily forecast. Take care.